In this lesson, we will learn about history of COBOL. The history of COBOL start in April 1959 with a meeting involving computer people, academics, users and manufacturers to discuss the creation of common problem-oriented machine-independent language specifically designed to address the need of business. The US Department of Defense was persuaded to sponsor and organize the project. A number of existing languages at that time has influenced the design of COBOL. The most significant of those were Flowmatic and Comtrain. The first definition of COBOL was produced by the Conference on Data System Languages, short form Codicil Committee in 1960. There were two manufacturer members of the Codicil Committee, RCA and RRU. They raised to produce the first COBOL compiler. On December 1960, the same COBOL program with some minor changes ran on both RC and RRU computers. After the initial definition of the language by the Codicil Committee, responsibility for developing new COBOL standard was assumed by the American National Standard Institute, short form ANSI, which had produced the next three standards. American National Standard, ANS 68, ANS 74 and ANS 85. Here, 6874 and 85 stand for 1968, 1974 and 1985 year respectively. Later, responsibility for developing new COBOL standard was assumed by the International Standards Organization, also known as ISO. So far, ISO has developed two standards, 2002 standard and 2014 standard. Now let's see what were the major highlights of these COBOL standards. The first two letter of COBOL, C and O stand for common, which means the language would be same across a range of machines. Since the creation of COBOL in 1960, various producers of COBOL compilers had introduced different COBOL versions. Those versions were incompatible and away from the idea of common. COBOL ANS 1968 standard resolved incompatibilities between different COBOL versions and made COBOL as a standard language that would run across different computers. Now moving to the next standard that is COBOL ANS 1974 standard. In this standard, the introduction of COBOL war and external subprogram was done. Before this standard, there was no real way to partition a program into separate parts and this resulted in the huge monolithic programs. 1974 standard had saved COBOL from a bad reputation. Now let's move to the next standard that is COBOL ANS 1985 standard. In 1985 standard, structure programming to COBOL was introduced. The most notable features were the introduction of explicit scope delimiters such as ANDIF and ANDREAD. Prior to this 1985 standard, full stop was used to delimit scope. Now full stop or period was having two problem. One was visibility and second was it will delimited all open scopes and that was causing many program bugs. Fourth and fifth standard were introduced by ISO in 2002 and 2014 year. In ISO 2002 standard object orientation was introduced whereas in ISO 2014 standard IEEE standard for floating path arithmetic was introduced. In this standard, features like validate facility, reporter writer facility was made optional. I hope you have learned something from this lesson. See you in the next lesson.